Hello and welcome to another interesting story on African readers. Today's title is Tortoise Finds His Home, written by Maya Fowler, Katrin Kudza and Demian Gibbs. Let's have a look at the cover. What do you see? I see a large field with a tortoise and a snail. I also see some trees. And a hill, or is that a mountain in the background? Let's read on and find out how Tortoise finds his home. One day, Tortoise was walking through the veld. Do you know what a veld is? Try to find out. He was searching and searching. He gazed into the distance and squinted at the grass. Are you looking for something? Snail asked. Yes, I'm looking for my house. Have you seen it? No, I haven't, but I'll help you look. Snail climbed onto Tortoise's shell. Tortoise walked on with Snail on his back. They looked and looked, but there was no sign of a house. Are you looking for something? asked Sparrow. Yes, we're looking for Tortoise's house. Have you seen it? No, I haven't, but I'll help you look. Sparrow flapped his wings and whizzed away. You're going too fast, called Tortoise. All right then, I'll hop on too. Tortoise walked on with Snail and Sparrow perched on his shell. They looked and looked, but there was no sign of a house. Are you looking for something? asked Ladybird. Yes, we're looking for Tortoise's house. Have you seen it? No, I haven't, but I'll help you look. Ladybird hopped on to Tortoise's shell. Tortoise walked on with Snail and Sparrow and Ladybird sitting on his back. They looked and looked, but there was no sign of a house. A breeze started to blow. Are you looking for something? asked Mouse. Yes, Mouse, I'm looking for my house. Have you seen it? No, I haven't, but I'll help you look. Mouse jumped onto Tortoise's back. Tortoise walked on with Snail and Sparrow and Ladybird and Mouse on his back. They looked and looked, but there was no sign of a house. The wind swept the leaves off the ground and swirled them around Tortoise. The wind got stronger and stronger. The sky turned dark. Oh, where is my house? Tortoise sighed. Thunder roared in the hills. Lightning flashed in the distance. Drip, drip came the rain. Oh, where is Tortoise's house? asked Snail and Sparrow and Ladybird and Mouse. The wind whirled and whipped and blew snail and sparrow and ladybird and mouse right off Tortoise's back. Whoosh! Eek! squeaked Tortoise with a fright and he shrunk back into his shell. It was warm and cozy inside. Oh, here is my house. He found his house at last inside his shell. He'd been looking around for something that wasn't even lost. Oh, here is Tortoise's house. All the friends are relieved that he found his house. And he's helping shelter them from the rain. How nice. It was nice of the friends to help Tortoise out. And it's nice of Tortoise to shelter them from the rain. Thank you for listening. That's the end. Till we meet again, please keep reading.